Gentlemen, I'm not gonna lie, I wasn't expecting to make a video today on a promo that wasn't Team of the Week, but EA always messes things up. So, I'm gonna make a Gridiron Guardians video because that comes out on Thursday. So, we're gonna go through the previous Gridiron Guardians promos, or Mutt Hero promos, as they used to be called, and I'm gonna show you guys exactly what I think is coming and what has come in the past so you guys know what to expect. But with EA, you really never know what to expect. They always mess up, they always do something stupid, so you really never can tell what these idiots are going to do. I'm completely okay, all right? I'm completely okay. Anyways, I'm gonna have something fun for today's video. Comment who you think your team is getting down below, and whichever one of you is correct, I'll give a gift card to on your console. So be subscribed, notifications on, comment your console, comment Milk Squad to be in the Milk Squad. Like this boy right here, I love ya. Milk Squad Commander, what can I say? And tell me what you think of the new camera angle. I was really getting annoyed with it being right here. So I moved it right here so I can look at you right in your beautiful face. So we're going to go to Madden 22 to look at the Gridiron Guardians promo. I'm going to go over every single card, okay? There was a part one, there was a part two, and I cannot lie to you guys, Madden 22's Gridiron Guardians promo was absolute buns. It was horrible. It was like Xerxes trying to communicate with a woman. Really bad horrible and extremely awkward and Xerxes gets slapped in the face at the end but I have faith in this year's because EA has actually been doing pretty good with promo cards this year they've been absolutely abysmal with packs and pack luck and all that stuff except for with me because I have the greatest pack luck in the universe and the greatest jawline in the universe as well you already know it show your mother she'll agree oh yeah i was banned on madden 22. i completely forgot about that <laughs> but what i did was i got my account back and i purchased coins how did i purchase coins you may ask well i used my new sponsor utnice.com and i used code dom for five percent off my order so go check down below Hit up UT Nice, get some coins for your team, boys, and get to building that God Squad that you've always wanted, okay? The one you've always wanted, dreamed about, the, the one you wake up crying every single night because you don't have it, that God Squad of your dreams. Not my dreams, your dreams. Do you want Aaron Hernandez and Ray Lewis on the same killer lineup and you can't afford it? Using UTNice.com, boys. Use code DOM. <laughs> Go get that killer lineup, okay? Throw OJ Simpson in there. Whatever you need. Okay, that was an extremely long intro. We're on Madden 22 now. But to be honest, I used to have like eight minute intros on my videos. So I say that's a dub. I, I got better at them. Okay, guys. So give me a break here. Gridiron Guardians of Madden 22, though, was very mid. So if you want to see good Gridiron Guardians, which I think it will be this year, just wait a minute until we're done with Madden 22. I just want to show you what was in the game last year. So on drop, we got a number of 90s, but usually we get a 90 for every single team or a 91 or a 92. Usually this promo drops in like October. So it's typically been like a 91. 92 overall card, but it just depends when it drops. Since it's dropping in September this year, I would expect 89 or 90s. So hopefully it's for every single team like it typically has been. Last year, we got Trey White, Mike Evans, DeForest Buckner, Kamari Cooper, Mike Jacecki, Stefan Gilmore, Alvin Kamara, and Blitz Boy himself. Uh, and then we had some champions as well, which were 92 overalls. Fred Warner, Aaron Rodgers, Mr. ACL Tear himself and Jalen Ramsey. The card art was super nice last year. I will give them that much, but there was just not enough content. We additionally got a second part of the promo, which is also pretty mid. Only eight heroes. 94 Micah Hyde, 94 Ryan Jensen, Daniel Jones, Brockers, DJ Moore, Deontay Johnson. You get the point. And then we had five champions, which were good cards. Don't get me wrong, but like... Hopefully this year we have an actual good amount of players because nobody wants to go into this promo and only see, you know, that every other team got players but your own or like, you know, only eight teams got players. We need cards for every single promo uh, that, you know, have cards for every single team. If it's going to be a promo like this where you're dropping cards for every single team, a master for every team, we need one for every single team, not just eight or 12 or half of them. Uh, but yeah, we had Roquan Smith, Joe Namath for some reason, Max Crosby, Derrick Henry, and then we had Deion Sanders, which if you put him, if you made this set, you got uh, a 99 overall essentially because if with boosts and all that stuff, you put in two 97s, you got a 98 token to put into his power up and then he was a 98 or 99 overall rather. 
Um, but like I said, this one, very mid. I would expect some of these cards will be in this promo. Maybe Derrick Henry, Max Crosby, I could see. Roquan Smith, I could also see. And then as for the heroes, I could definitely see a Deontay Johnson, maybe a DJ Moore. I mean, Daniel Jones, I suppose, could get one, but he's been below mid this year. The dude has no sense of how to play football. Madden 21s, though, was a much bigger uh, amount of cards than we got in Madden 22, so I'll show you those right now. And we can keep talking about who I think is going to be coming with this promo and what I think it's going to be, all that stuff. It'll be a good promo, I fully guarantee that, but I want it to be a great promo. Good promos are nice here and there, but we want great promos every single time that everyone can enjoy and have fun with for sure. Or as I like to call it, money making promos, EA. If you wanna make money, put out good content instead of delaying team of the week by freaking 38 hours every single time. We used to get team of the week on Mondays, but now we get it on Tuesdays and then they delay them. So in Madden 21, it was Mutt Heroes. And I don't think we got it until the end of the year, I wanna say. Let me go in the archive here and see. I, yeah, I don't think we got it until the end of the year, but it was so much better than it was in Madden 22. Now, don't get me wrong. We still didn't have one for every single freaking team for some reason. EA is just abysmal sometimes, but we had really good cards. Lamar Jackson, who I fully expect to be getting one on Thursday. Aaron Jones could get one. DeAndre Hopkins, I could see him getting one, but he is suspended. So, you know, it's kind of a toss up. Who knows if he'll get it. TJ Hawkinson, CJ Ham, Tyron Smith. And if you look at this card art, it is fire. It's the whole comic book look. Um, the problem I have with recent Mutt Heroes is they don't have the boost. They don't have the chem boost, the stat boost anymore like they did when they first dropped. When we first got them, every single one of them boosted something for the whole team. So whether it was spec catch, man coverage, zone coverage, hit power, every single card boosted something. And on top of that, that player had a boosted stat. So like, I think AJ Green was in Madden 19 and he had extremely high spec catch. So like stuff like that, Pat Pete was in Madden 19 as well. If I remember correctly, he had really good man coverage. Deion Jones right there, Xavier Rhodes, Micah Hyde once again, John Johnson, Mason Crosby. So you're seeing a trend certain players usually get cards in this promo um and i'm fully expecting lamar jackson to get one again but i will show you madden 20s as well but we're gonna go ahead and skip madden 20 i'm just gonna go straight to madden 19 because this was the best one ever in my opinion it was the first year we actually had it and it was a super great one cards for every single team a master for every single team on top of that additionally there was uh limited if i remember correctly or two limiteds or so and then masters as well if i'm thinking correctly it has been a couple years so forgive me if i'm wrong and now we're in madden 19 which like i said was the best one in my opinion madden 19 had a lot of content in the game it was super fun and we had the first mutt heroes of all time and it was a masterpiece 38 sets here gentlemen and every team had a hero danny trevathan tyler eifert this card art is just so so nice i loved this card art it was it was perfect it was absolutely perfect. Vaughn Miller had one, Miles Garrett, and each one had a different overall. As you see, Levante David, 92. Miles Garrett, 90. Uh, Patrick Peterson, this card was an absolute god. And like I said, he got a man coverage boost, which was ridiculous. Uh, Keenan Allen, uh, he got catching boost. Eric Berry, zone coverage boost. Andrew Luck, short accuracy boost. Tyron Smith, I mean, we had Cameron Wake, Fletcher Cox, Desmond Trufant, Jimmy G, so funny that he got one. He's kind of going to be the hero for the Niners this season now, though. Saquon Barkley in his rookie season got carrying, Leonard Fournette for trucking, Leonard Williams, Golden Tate, Aaron Rodgers, Kawan Short, Marcus Cannon, Rodney Hudson, Michael Brockers, Eric Weddle, Brandon Scherf, Alvin Kamara, Bobby Wagner. I don't need to read every single name. You guys can read them. This one for Dandre Hopkins got catching traffic, which is super sick. And Stefan Diggs, the absolute goon for the Bills now. The dude has been going off, but... This promo was an absolute masterpiece in the past. It hasn't been as good in recent Maddens, but I'm really, really hoping they can bring it home this year and actually make it good once again, because it used to be such a good promo. It used to be one of my favorite promos of the year. The whole comic book look and everything, the superhero look, it was awesome. And uh, hopefully they can make it like it once was because this promo was an absolute masterpiece and if they can make it even half as good as this it's going to be far better than last year's or the year before 
Remember, guys, though, I would love to know who you think your team is getting, so comment down below. You know, I'll go through them. I always read my comment section, even if I don't respond to all of them all the time. I usually try to respond to most of them, so let me know who you think we're getting. I would love to see your responses. As for the Giants, I don't think it's going to be, you know, uh, Saquon. I think it could be someone like Daniel Jones, maybe Xavier McKinney. Those guys are usually, you know, pretty popular uh, for Madden cards. Daniel Jones isn't a great QB but he plays really well in Madden. Uh, for the Falcons, you know, we could be getting Kyle Pitts, someone like that. There's so many cards that it could be for every team. I'd be fine if the Colts got Andrew Luck again. I mean, I wouldn't complain too much. I've been wanting him for years back in the game, so hopefully we get him this year. Pat Pete could be the Vikings one. That would be super fun. He, ha he isn't himself anymore. I'll be the first to admit it as a huge Pat Pete stan, but I would love to have him be a good card in the game again. But yeah, guys, I mean, there's so many great cards we could be getting. It's impossible for me to predict all of them, but uh, yeah, let me know who you think you're getting down below. I will pick one of you who is correct to get a gift card. So comment your console as well. I love you guys. If you enjoyed this, click right here to watch another video from yesterday. I love you. Peace.